To find H of 8, I'm going to need the values of both F and 8 and G of 8, like this. H of 8 is going to equal F of 8 plus 2 times G of 8. Cool. And good news for this, I have this nice table. Bad news, this table doesn't go up to 8. But good news again, the problem tells me that these are linear functions. That means if I see a pattern here, I know that pattern will continue. And I do see a pattern here. So let's figure it out. x is 8. Well, when I look at f of x, I see that these are increasing steadily by 5. So f of 8 should be 5 more than f of 6, or 20. For g of x, I see that it's decreasing steadily by 1. So if g of 6 is negative 3, then g of 8 is negative 4. And now I just need to plug these into my equation. I have 20 plus 2 times negative 4. That's 20 plus negative 8, which is 12. And A is my answer. Now, this problem had a lot of steps, but no one step was insanely hard. And that's an important thing to remember for these types of problems. If you're patient and just take them apart piece by piece, they won't be so bad.